Hello, so for today's video I'm going to be playing with the Anastasia and Jackie palette. I'm so excited about this. It finally come to Beauty Bay and Cult Beauty and I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. I've been like, where is the Jackie palette? I want the Jackie palette. And it's finally here and the packaging is gorgeous. So I wanted to do like when you open the palette obviously oh you get a brush i'm just going to put aside a minute get these gorgeous colors and i'm so i don't really like purples but i feel like i want to do something with the purples that like a really nice cut crease kind of thing um yeah this is just is such a stunning palette uh i feel like i haven't been like i've been excited for a palette but i feel like i haven't really been so excited and like just think it's absolutely beautiful I will do side by side swatches as well of this and Modern Renaissance because a lot of people are like, oh, it's literally Modern Renaissance and it's also the Novena palette. But I mean, I don't see it at all, but obviously I don't have the Novena palette, but obviously you see pictures online, you see people using it, and that's like all purples. Just because it has two purples doesn't mean it's the same palette. Um, so yeah, I'm just super excited to try this out. I will be doing um, three videos back to back on different looks of the palette because obviously, you know, £46. It is quite a bit of money for a palette, so obviously you want to get good use out of it, so we can um, sort of achieve different looks and see what we can get from it. So yeah, so first of all, I'm just going to prime the eyelids. So I'm using the Revolution Pro Full Cover Camouflage Concealer in C2. Just going to blend that out with the crown brush. So for brow highlight today, I'm just going to take a little bit of Trust Issues, which is this like gorgeous white sort of looks like it has a little bit of a green reflect to it i can't really tell in the pan i'm just going to pop that underneath the brow so i'm going to take that on a crown brush c510 i'm just going to take a small amount because obviously we don't want anything too sparkly under there then for crease color i'm going to dip into supreme which is this gorgeous pink shade i'm literally going to go in super light with this first because i don't want a lot in the crease just yet so I'm going to take that on a Spectrum B06. I feel like with Anastasia palettes, like you have to be, I find that I have to be really light handed with them. Because obviously they are super, super pigmented. So I'm just going to take that through the crease. Literally, when I say like I'm dabbing in, like literally I'm going, boop. Like very light handed because like I said, they're super pigmented, so I just want a little bit of colour down, and then obviously I can build up and add as I please. I don't want to go in straight away, add a lot, and then find it super hard to blend out. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take a Crown Brush C528, so it's this nice fluffy brush, and I'm going to take more Supreme, and just really deepen it up, especially in the socket, and right in, like, my inner corner bit as well. Just gonna blend that out a little bit with the Crown Brush Duo Fiber Blending Brush. It's this nice fluffy Duo Fiber brush, obviously. Now I'm just gonna obviously keep building it up, keep building it up until I'm happy with what I got. So I am just gonna go in a lot heavier with Supreme now, really. So I'll proper get it right into the crease, right into the socket. Just blending it out with the Spectrum B06. I basically took the color switch thing that you can dip your brush in and it gets off the uh, like the pigment okay so I've just stuck a bit of tape down um just because obviously we're doing like a bit of a cut crease so I like to take it to the tape um just makes life easier for me with hooded lids so now I'm gonna take a bit of big wig which is this gorgeous purple shade and I'm gonna take that on a spectrum a17 it's like this angled eyeliner brow brush which you're just gonna dip into that and I'm gonna draw a very thin line around the crease then I'm just gonna take a crown brush ooh, C431 it's like a nice pencil brush I'm just gonna blend that out don't matter if you go like down below and we're gonna cut the crease anyway we just want to make sure everything's nice and blended up here I usually go in and add more colour after, but just want to get it nice and perfect. 
you know, it's probably going to get ruined with concealer. And it's easier if you look down into the mirror rather than looking directly at it. Um, oh, I find it easier just so you're not so direct in the mirror. You can actually see your eyelid. It's basically all about adding colour to your happy and then, and also blend in as well because we want to make sure everything's nice and seamless. And I am going to take just a tiny, tiny amount of pinker, which is this shade right here. On that same brush, um, we will go into the colour switch thing again because obviously we want to get that product off. And when I say tiny, like literally the smallest amount, like I don't want to take away too much from the purple, but I want to make it too like pinker <laughs> before I go in and add any lid colour I just want to take the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Eyeliner in Grind and I want to draw like a thin um, glitter liner um, just below the purple and then we're going to go in and add lid colour then for lid colour I'm going to take a bit of um, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right Shukaton and I'm going to take that on the same Spectrum A16 yeah I'm going to pack it all over the lid then on a Real Techniques fine liner brush I'm going to take a bit of Trust Issues and pack that on top of the liner just because I want a little bit more sparkle, sparkle. Ah, oh, shit. So I realised I wasn't actually recording any of that. So let me run you down of what I've just done. So basically, I took Big Wig and Pinker, and what I've done was I just put a small line here just so it it like sort of connected together as you can see and then I just blended that out with a crown brush C431 just to like buff it out so it looks blended like this top bit does and then I took a bit of Supreme on the Spectrum B06 and I just sort of run that all the way through here so it looks nice and like sort of smoked out and a bit blended and not so neat then for the lower lash line I took Big Wig and Pinker again and I kept it quite close to the lower lash line so I pushed it up against there with the, where's my brush that I used? The Spectrum A17 which is that nice little angle brush. I kept it really close, just went like this, smoked it along and then I took the smudger brush again and I smudged it out and I kind of smudged it out past this bit as well so it looks like it's nice and joint. So I just kept smudging and smudging and smudging. And I took a bit of Supreme, again on the Spectrum B06, and I just went along and smoked it out. Then on a Real Techniques fine liner brush, I literally just took Trust Issues and extended that out. So it really makes the eyes pop. And then I also took Trust Issues on the inner corner as well. So, now I'm going to hit up with some mascara. So this is the L'Oreal Double Extension Waterproof. I will show you the full face without lashes and then I will apply lashes just in case you're not a lash wearer. This is what it looks like without lashes on. So this is the completed look without lashes. I actually like how it looks without lashes just because you can really see the full eye effect. Like if I was going to stick on lashes, which I'm about to do so you can see what it looks like with lashes as well. It will be something very like little and probably winged out um, just because I don't want to take attention away from the eyes because I feel like we work so hard to do the eyes that we don't want to take it away so yeah this is the completed look obviously without lashes all the face products that I'm using will be listed in the bottom bar I wish I did take a little bit more of a goldy highlighter to match like the highlighter from the palette do you know what I might do actually I might take a little bit of trust issues on a brush so this is the crown brush C528 and just add like a little bit on top of the normal highlight. Yeah, I just feel like that ties it in with the eyes a little bit better. Obviously, it's like quite a glittery shadow, so I wouldn't recommend it as highlighter. But I feel like with the base down and then that on top, it does look quite pretty. So yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and apply some lashes. Okay, so this is the look with lashes. So these are the Girls With Attitude 5D Fake Mink Lashes. 
I don't know if they have a name or not. Um, I'm pretty sure they only have one pair of 5D lashes, but obviously this is what the packaging looks like. And these are super pretty, because even though they are 5D, they're not super heavy. Like, they're not up to your eyebrows. Like, I think they're perfect for hooded lids. Um, obviously, there's enough space for me to still see all that work that I've just done. And yeah, I love these lashes. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, this is the completed look. Obviously, come back tomorrow for a different eye look. Um, but I don't think it's going to get much better than this. <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of the video. Alright, 